Good day everyone, this is your friend Dr. Arlie Makasyan of Imperio and uh, we will be discussing about uh, Emorigen, Glucan, Fulvic and you. and uh, this is Dr. Arlie Imperio, I just mentioned it and uh, uh, we will be uh, having an overview on uh, how uh, Emorigen and uh, Glucan and uh, Fulvic can be an important part of our life and uh, you can now see uh, the one who is starting everything, Forever Healthy Products. This has been founded by uh, uh, Leon Katz and uh, our Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Uh, Susan Barlin. And uh, for you to appreciate the name uh, Forever Healthy, I would uh, usually be asking you several questions. And uh, this is the question, which would you like to experience? Sickness uh, or health? Of course, the answer is uh, health. Uh, when would you like to experience health? Now or later? Of course, the answer is now. How long would you like to experience health? Now, uh, for now only or as long as possible or forever? The answer is forever. Therefore, it is forever healthy uh, products. Now, let me remind each one. Uh, I realized uh, early in life uh, that uh, for us to get anything in life, we need three basic requirements. The first requirement is you should be healthy. Number two, you should have uh, resources like money. And number three, you must have time freedom to enjoy them. Others are healthy and they don't have money. Others have lots of money, but they are already sick. Others have uh, health and money at the same time, but uh, uh, they're already aging or they're already uh, uh, limited in uh, opportunities, uh, so there is less uh, time freedom. So our goal, uh, my dear friends, is to have health, money, and time as early as possible to uh, be able to get uh, what we want. And uh, the first thing, of course, is health. We know that uh, health may not be everything, but when you lose your health, you lose uh, everything. Okay, so I would like to uh, help you understand the central dogma of biology. In brief, the central dogma is uh, the science on how the body builds itself, maintains, and repairs itself. Central means it is fundamental. A dogma is absolute truth. And uh, biology is about life. It's about you and me. The key elements are DNA, RNA, amino acids, and protein. The end result is protein. Protein is actually every part of your body. So the DNA contains the code. DNA means uh, deoxyribose nucleic acid. And uh, through transcription, the RNA copies the code, ribose nucleic acid. Then the RNA goes out of the nucleus, and uh, the, R the RNA attracts the corresponding uh, amino acids, which is the building block of the body. There are 20 amino acids, and uh, it's like having the 26 letters in the keyboard if uh, certain letters are missing, certain words cannot be created. The same with our body. The body is in the process of building, maintaining, repairing itself, and it needs the 20 amino acids to do so. So the outline, the central dogma of biology, is that through transcription, the RNA copies the code from the DNA, and through translation, the RNA uh, translates, uh, quote and unquote, the code with the amino acids into protein. So that's how the body builds, maintains, and repairs itself. Now, we'll now take a closer look at the uh, ingredients of Emorigen. And you will notice, if you look at it closer or closely, you will notice that it seems to support the central dogma of our life. It has the complex dietary uh, nucleotides. The nucleotides are part of the structure of the DNA and RNA. And uh, the, our nucleotides came from dietary sources, that's why it's uh, exogenously derived and uh, complex uh, to uh, remind us that it is not easy to make the complex uh, dietary nucleotides. Uh, it takes 90 days to uh, create the formula. And then we have uh, the uh, amino acids, we have the essential amino acids, and we have 18 all in all, and we have the peptides. Uh, which uh, actually is the goal of the central dogma to create the protein. So the peptides has been uh, uh, created in advance and there are 118 peptides. The peptides are uh, together and singularly uh, support the many functions of the body. For example, there are peptides to support innate immunity. There are peptides that support uh, spermiogenesis or angiogenesis. There are peptides that support uh, behavior 
emotions or libido. There are peptides that uh, support uh, muscular and even growth development. So, uh, plus the addition of minerals, we have completed the basic elements that will uh, help the cells to be uh, uh, maintained and uh, be efficient and function, especially the minerals. The minerals uh, will support the membrane potential of the cell because each cell connects to each other with uh, electrical impulses and uh, that's where the minerals would come in. The body is made up of systems, organ, tissue, cell. And inside the cell are many parts. Uh, it has many organs too, we call it organelles. But we are now focusing on the nucleus because the nucleus is the headquarters of the cell. Why? Because inside the nucleus are the uh, chromosome and uh, inside the chromosome is the DNA. And uh, our focus now is that each DNA has nucleotides. So did you see the uh, order of uh, uh, the hierarchy of the body? So 12 systems. Let's say, let's uh, review one system. For example, the uh, respiratory system. You have the nose, the nasopharynx, the bronchus, and the lungs. You see there are several uh, organs. Uh, let's say a digestive system. We have the uh, mouth, teeth, tongue, esophagus, stomach, intestines, uh, small and large. And then we have the accessory organs like the pancreas, uh, the liver, and the gallbladder. Now the reproductive system, for example, you have the uh, uh, reproductive organs, you have the ureter, uh, you can also have the kidney as part of the excretory function, and uh, you have the urethra and the uh, uh, prostate for males and uh, the ovary and the uh, fallopian tubes uh, for the female. You see there are several organs. Now in each organ is tissue and cell. Uh, this cell, uh, we were able to uh, look into the cell when we were able to uh, invent the microscope. And uh, for the first time, you now see that there are many parts inside the cell. Now, it is safe to uh, emphasize that if your cells are healthy, you are healthy. If the cells are sick, you are sick. Uh, what kind of sickness would you have? It just depends on where the cells are located. For example, if it's the cells of your uh, kneecap or your bones, you, you would probably have arthritis. If it's the cells of your liver, you, you would probably have hepatitis. If it's the cells of your stomach, uh, you might have gastritis or even ulcer. If it's the cells of your lungs, you might have uh, asthma or emphysema. The cells of the eyes, uh, cataract formation can be uh, in place. So you see, uh, your, your health depends upon the integrity of the cell. Before, knowledge is uh, only at the cellular level. But now, uh, we were able to go deeply into the cell. Uh, the, the nucleus, uh, the chromosome, and the uh, DNA, and the uh, nucleotide. The chromosome uh, has four legs. Uh, we call them the telomeres. And uh, uh, in, during the past uh, years, uh, it won Nobel Prize uh, in medicine where they were able to observe that the lifespan of the species depends upon the length of the telomere. And when the DNA activity is uh, uh, very uh, active, uh, it will uh, use up itself and the telomere would shorten. And uh, they noted that the lifespan of the species depends upon the length of the telomere. Therefore, if you can delay the uh, shortening of the telomere, then you can delay aging. So it's connected with aging. And then they also discovered the telomerase, the enzyme that uh, controls the uh, shortening uh, or uh, the length of the telomere. That's another Nobel Prize uh, awarding. But take note, my dear friends, inside the, the telomere are the uh, uh, DNA. So if you, want take, if you take one DNA strand that can be uh, pulled up to six feet long, that will contain about 50 million DNA or genome or genes. And each DNA has nucleotides. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. And uh, thymine in uh, the RNA is uh, uracil. So there are five uh, types of uh, nucleotides. So what is now being uh, noted and observed is the vital role of nucleotides for DNA stability. There is one research journal that stated nucleotide deficiency can lead to genomic instability. So when the DNA is unstable, 
then it opens the door to uh, many problems, including disease. And probably one of the of this mechanism, uh, when it's uh, weakened, uh, can lead to uh, carcinogenesis or mutation. That's why it's very important that the integrity of the DNA is maintained. And one simple way is to ensure that there is adequate supply of uh, exogenous uh, nucleotides. Because the nucleotides are produced by the body, we call it endogenous uh, source or the de novo pathway. However, there are instances, especially when one gets older and uh, weakened, when one is sick, when one is uh, extremely exhausted, fatigued or tired, these are symptoms uh, indicating that the nucleotide supply is so low that the body cannot cope in producing the necessary nucleotides. Therefore, exogenously derived or dietary nucleotides or free nucleotides are required. So this is where the research has been done in Europe for many years. And uh, we now have the formula where uh, there is complex dietary nucleotides, there is uh, amino acids, uh, peptides and minerals that will support DNA function. Emorigen comes from two words, emo, immun, immune system or immunity, that's the emo, and uh, regeneration, the regen is uh, to, uh, to remind us of the uh, uh, repair that uh, is uh, done to the body. And uh, Emorigen has a formula that will support immunity and regeneration. So when we compared side by side the central dogma of biology and uh, the basic in ingredients of Emorigen, then you will truly agree the name is very appropriate as Emorigen. And uh, in this slide, you can see the ingredients, uh, which I uh, showed a while ago when I compared it with the central dogma. And uh, these are the uh, elements that are truly uh, very uh, vital to, to the body's function. In fact, you may also add on your own additional ingredients if you would take uh, other, uh, let's say, uh, food supplements that will uh, augment. But this is the basic formula which uh, everybody should be taking every day. So this is now the... Uh, uh, overall uh, presentation of our Emorigen products. So all of them has the logo Emorigen except one, the Fulbic, which is exclusively for the uh, mineral supply. So Emorigen is complex dietary nucleotides, uh, amino acids, peptides, and, and minerals. And we now see in this slide the uh, functional claims uh, that we can state by the way, uh, what we cannot say is that uh, there are therapeutic benefits where the formula will act like a medicine or a drug or even replace medicine or drug. Uh, we can never say that. Those are therapeutic claims. However, we can uh, emphasize structure and functional claim. So the uh, formula supports DNA RNA structure and the structure of the cell. And then the functions may be as follows. It will uh, support the building blocks of the DNA. It will support synthesis and repair. It will uh, support rejuvenation. It will boost our immune system. It will uh, help repair damaged cells and even uh, protect uh, the cells from uh, free radical uh, activity. Now, we focus on the, the first uh, Emorigen, which is Immune Plus. So, it has the logo Emorigen, so that's immune. However, it has an additional benefit that will uh, support uh, body energy. So uh, the mechanism of action here is that uh, ATP production is being enhanced and ATP is the energy currency of uh, the body. ATP came from nucleotides, adenosine, triphosphate. So there are four flavors. Uh, one tube has uh, 20 tablets, a represent tablets. And, uh, uh, per tablet has 0.18 milligrams uh, emorigen. You can take, uh, adults can take one tablet one, two, three times a day. For children at one year old, you can take at one tablet uh, a day. If you feel you need more, simply consult your doctor about it so that uh, uh, it can be adjusted depending on your uh, health challenge or condition. And then we now have the emorigen liquid. The emorigen is uh, 1.5 milligrams and uh, the liquid is uh, is uh, beneficial for rapid absorption because it's already liquid. 
You can just take it orally at one teaspoon a day for adults and even one teaspoon a day for children at one year old uh, above. And the emergent capsule, well, one bottle has 90 capsules. You take one capsule three times a day. So one bottle is one month supply. And this contains 0.5 milligram uh, emorigen. So you take this uh, before meals, so it's part of your uh, nutritional support uh, on a daily basis. Then we have the glucan. The glucan is a nutrient that has been studied for uh, many years. And there are many research studies on glucan. It's an immunomodulator. Glucan came from the uh, uh, membrane of uh, cell membrane of the bacteria, of the mushroom, of the grains like oatmeal, uh, of the uh, of fungus. And uh, what, is, what is very contrasting is that uh, the membrane of the cells of the body does not contain glucan. Therefore, when glucan is introduced into our system, the body's immune, uh, innate immunity is being, uh, let's say, stimulated. That's why it supports uh, immunity. So this is the only emorigen with glucan in the world. And this is the only glucan in the world that has emorigen. So both of them, when combined, will potentiate its uh, immunomodulating uh, activity. So you just take uh, one uh, capsule uh, two times a day for uh, adults. And uh, for children, uh, they at seven years and above, we take about one capsule a day. If you feel you need more, simply consult your doctor about it so that uh, he can make the necessary adjustment. Then finally, the fulvic minerals. These are trace minerals from ancient plants. And uh, this will uh, help support the repair and maintenance of the cell membrane. And it will also help support the electrical conduction or activity of the cell. Uh, just imagine uh, 300 million Americans, each one has a cell phone and they are connected through their cell phones. But the cell phone is only useful if there is clear signal and uh, power. The same thing with the cells of the body. Every cell talks to each other, they communicate with each other, and it is through a membrane potential or electrical conduction or signaling where the uh, communication is being done. Therefore, we now have a complete set of food supplements that will help support our body. Always remember, my dear friends, to uh, point to God as the source of life, health, and prosperity. And also, always remember that prevention is always better than getting the best cure. This is your friend, Dr. Arlie Makasiano Imperio. Until our next broadcast from the Philippines, we say, Mabuhay! <music>